two. I don't have any more. I have one. I went to the car. I went to my car. I gave him all my shirts. Wow, man. Yeah. And again, Homer Hustle. Uh, and hey, hey, GBL? Hey. GBL did, donated some extra ones. And uh, let me tell you what. He gave us a prize that we wouldn't have found anywhere. So special shout out going out to GBL. That's Mr. So waters, two waters, two waters. Please, uh, thank, you. thank you very much. From GBL to uh, Homer Hustle to ValleyCentral.com. Kick off is up. To you, everybody. Thanks a lot, man. It's been great. And it's only going to get better, Paul. Watch out for the playoffs. We might be connected to Zone it. I had to give one away in the parking lot. I couldn't make it out no of the way. I couldn't make it out of the parking lot. You gave one away in the yes. parking lot. Yes. Hey, hey, come on, get us. Oh, yeah. You're like, yeah, I listened before. Bam, here you go. How about this guy? That was that good or what? That was it. Pop man. Man. Going through the hey, hey, come on, get us. How about this? Come on, get us. What did he say? He said, he said oh, yeah. He was so excited. All right, man. Once again, uh, it's going to be the shirts. We're out. We're going to try and get some more. But right now, uh, enjoy them, and uh, thanks for all the support you give us to me and Paul. And, of course, thanks to Cat TV 17 Hey, Paul, everybody tell me today, that was a great picture last night on that. It game. was. It was a good team. It was a good game. Offside uh, We did a good job. Uh, probably outside, there was a sweep. Juarez Lincoln goes on the left side for the Bobcats, going from south to north. Uh, it was an effective run, basically gained about five, but there was a penalty on the flag. It may be against Juarez. It's probably going to come back. Hey, Pablo, you're, be next, you're the next Bobcat? Oh, uh, no doubt about that. I mean... I'm an ex-Bobcat, and uh, I did a little trading, and I get a little Bobcat jacket. So if you're I see that, it. Let me see right oh, now. Oh, get my skills. No shot. I go out to all the Bobcats in the house. And of course, ex-coaches, ex-baseball, ba football players, baseball, basketball, like Coach Florida, like Coach Avila said, you can be in swimming, you can be in volleyball, you can be in golf, football, basketball, baseball, lo que sea. Mm -hmm. If you're a Bobcat, you're, you're a, a Bobcat. Bobcat. And what Donut talk about, he's got a beautiful red coach's jacket. Looks absolutely awesome. Donut, props to you, brother. All Picking right. that up. I hope it gets cold on Monday because guess who's wearing a jacket? I'll cold. be wearing my Edinburgh Letterman jacket as soon as it gets cold. Oh, my. This oh, no, I got right. it. It's got, it's got it packets fits? everywhere. No, it barely fits. Barely. Barely. It's funner to wear if it barely fits. Yeah, it'll be a lot more funner when I see you with it. Oh, another flag on the play. A sweep to the right side if you're Juan is Lincoln going from south to north. And he broke it for about seven, but there's another flag in the play. It looks like they're going to bring it back. Yep. Hey, Paul, again, today they're going live, video and audio. Not even UIL stop them because it's a sellout at the Bird Bowl. Because they have a sellout. So we're alive? Sellout. Yeah. No, no, no. no. There's, they're, oh, they're, they're sold out. So they're live on a Friday. On a Friday night. Hey, uh, uh, hey Paul. Uh, Joe Bowling? Yes. Ooh, if you're Joe and Kemaskeres. Friday night football. Yes, sir. Hey, and believe me. Hey, man, look at this. Thank you. What's your name, sir? Omar. Oh, sorry, going out to Omar Cats TV. TV crew. Helping us out. Appreciate it, Omar. Working hard for Cats TV. All right. This time the Bobcats are staring at Twins right. Split left. Quarterback 25. Trips, le trips right. Split left. Quarterback the shotgun. What'd you call me? <laughs> split. Did you split? No, the split. The here we go. He's going to roll out to the Bobcats right. He's going to throw a pass. Got a man open to the flats. He hits him wide open. Oh, and he's gonna, he goes backwards. Yes. Uh, Obed Fernandez makes a good grab. Uh, they needed about 25. They needed 25, and they got 12. <laughs> I'm going to say they're short. Because 25 minus 12 does not equal no more. No more, no more. Duran, no more. They want no more of that. It's going to be now second and 15 coming up for the Huskies. And quickly, oh, one minute went off the clock, and yep. they moved the one. They went the wrong way. They did. They're going from the south to the north right now. It is second and 15 from the 25-yard line. Bobcats looking to split. Twins left, twins right. Could have back in the shotgun. Bobcats are blitzing off the edge. It's going to be a quick pass to the right, and the Bobcats are all over it. That play took too long to develop. Basically, don't that's a, a hitch play. I mean, the quarterback gets the ball and throws it immediately. That's tough to do from the shotgun because it's a lot of time wasted. And the Bobcats were all over that. That was an easy one for the Bobcats. A lot of they gave them four. Maybe one. Look, they got one. Look, look. Wow, the refs are just on fire with their spotting. Courtesy. Hey, let me tell you what. We got a man down on the field right now on the far side of the field, and it's only a cramp. It looks good. Yeah, wish that play well. It's good. Everything's going to be fine with him. It's just a cramp. And, and uh, Pablo. Mm -hmm. Give us all. These guys, man. I mean, what a night. What Don't a it. night. Que mas quieres? Que mas quieres? Don't it. Exactly. Uh, uh, Hey, and I'm telling you on my kids that I've worn our Kemaskeda shirts all year. I don't know why, but I wore the jersey. I don't know why. Why? Nobody told me. So why did you wear it? I just fired up the Bobcats. I was like, where did have you get it? Uh, Bill Reynolds gave it to me about a week and a half ago. I've had it. I could have worn it last but, week. But, you, but he bought them or he bought them. 
these the, they decommissioned these. In other words, the Bobcats have new uniforms. These are like a year or two years ago. 28, Capsule. 28, who's that? 28? 28? Okay, I'll work on it. I have another number seven, too, but don't it? I think it's, uh, yeah, I think we need to throw a little Eki on there. Don't even go there. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, hey, what were we talking about? It's trips left and split to the right. Bobcats, uh, the water thing is in the pass. He throws it down the sideline. It's a floater. It's anybody's ball. Tip drill. And that's going to be an incomplete pass as that ball was floated up in the air. Well, the and the defender finally turned around. So that's he had all day. He yeah. turned around, he turned this way, he turned that way. And uh, both had to play at the ball, but the ball was tipped away as it is fourth and 15, and Waters is going to punt. Hey, Paul, how, yes, sir. how beautiful would it be if these Bobcats come out with a big victory for these ex-coaches and players man, like yourself and myself, ex-Bobcats tonight? Doing a great call. That put a good a good cap on a, on a great night. But the Bobcats can pull out a victory here at home in front of a bunch of ex-Bobcat players and coaches. Uh, it'd be beautiful. I know we all want the Bobcats to win regardless. A punt is up as a low line drive. It's going to be returned on the right side. He's got a chance. Jordan Saldana ran into a bunch of Wadis Lincoln jerseys, but not after a return of about 15. The great field, field position. Field position for the Bobcats. What does that mean, field position? What does that mean? You just you just pick any spot you want or what? Oh, you better hope you pick one closer to the goal line you're going to, and that's exactly what they did right now. Uh, they're at the 43-yard line of the Huskies, already in Husky territory, and number five stayed down. He did, I don't know if it's a cramp or he just maybe got hit in the Well, we wish that young man well, but don't a field position, of course, means when your offense starts with the ball, how far are you from the end zone? Certainly being 40 to 43 yards away from the other end zone, that's a great start, don't it? If you're the Bobcats, can after that play, you're thinking, can I, you, wait, wait, ready? Uh, you're thinking, can I, get it? <laughs> we, we need to tie that one better down. We're all fired up over here. Yeah, exactly, Pablo. I was, you know, and I was, I was kind of right. We kind of got away from the game, and, and we apologize for that, ladies and gentlemen. We did bring you every play. Uh, we came delay a little bit on those calls, of course, because the conversation we're We could not pass by our guest, though. Really we just lessons. can't. Can't pass that over. And, that was outstanding. And I hope we do it again, but you know what, Paulo? Never going to have all that crew again. We might not ever get it. No, we, we will never. Flores, Vasquez, and Avila in our booth on a to Friday night. To have Flores, Avila, and Vasquez in the booth? Yeah, no, no. What do you mean? Get my kids. <laughs> yeah, that's me and Paul saying that, and we mean those exact words, ladies and gentlemen. That was, I was, you know, an honor to have David Torres standing up. In the David Torres, board, board member, former Bobcat strong safety. Me and Torres in the backfield in the secondary, strong safety, free safety. David Torres standing up. We see him down there. Board member does a great job. Part of the board that was recognized as a top school board in the state of Texas. Yeah. Que mas quieres? Hey, they started quickly. They set the example for the football team. Hey, yeah. You already got state. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The uh, board won state. Here we go. Bobcats break the formation. It's going to be a run play. He's going to hand it off the gun, uh, uh, up the middle to, it looks like, uh, Abregon. And maybe a gain of one depends on the spot. They've been generous spots all night, don't yeah, they? one and a half. One and a half? You're going to give him half a yard? Yeah. Or the spot gave him half a yard? Yeah, the spot did. So it's going to be, ladies and gentlemen, in the third quarter, it's still the Bobcats over the Huskies by a score of 7-6. It's the first time these uh, Bobcats have touched them on in the second half. Right now they are at the 41-yard line of the Huskies. We have a second and eight coming up. That's right. Bobcats going no huddle. Second A is the only pointed out. Bobcats have trips to the right and basically twins to the left. They got Aubrey going basically as a flex. I mean, he's close to the offensive line. Harrison low in the shotgun. He's going to give it a sweep on the outside to Dominguez, Domingo Alvarez, who goes nowhere. It's as if Juan Lincoln knew the play. That's a loss of press. Lost three yards on the play. That's going to be third and calling 11 for the Bobcat. And uh, Pablo, they've gone nowhere on, on uh, the first two plays. But we'll see what they're going to do here right now. If you're the Bobcats, after getting that field position, you don't want you don't want to go to waste. Either. No, you're in great position. You're, you're pretty much with a kicker that they have uh, in uh, Christoph Martinez. You're in very near in field goal range, but they're moving away from field goal range at this time. All right, call the play. You called it a while ago for a touchdown. All right, I'm saying that's going to be a pass. going to be a 10-yard curl by the either the inside, the slot receiver on either side. He can go about 10 and turn around, and he's going to hit him on a 10-yard hook. One of the two inside receivers for a first down. All right, here we go. Snap is up. And it is a, he gets flustered out of the pocket. We didn't know what was going to happen. As the quarterback was flustered out of the pocket, I didn't see anybody in a 10-yard hook. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be honest with that, don't it? Yeah. It looked like a four-man deep route. But the Juarez League can give credit to their defense as they pressured the quarterback, and Harrison had to roll out to his right and could not get his footing and basically threw the ball away. 
Yeah, good, good decision right there to just yes, throw it away. There was nothing, no, nothing happening on that play. So he did the right thing, and here we go. We're gonna punt, and you got a punt here, no problem. You, you do. I mean, you might as well use to utilize the field position because you're gonna potentially pin them back in their own territory, if not the red zone. I want the old style of football, which was hey, early. Yeah, you saw it. You say, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you saw me. Calm down, <laughs> calm down. That's and that's Coach Flood is a couple yards in a cloud of dust. And that's a beautiful kick. It's going to go way too far. He decided to hit the best punt of the night. A little wow. bit of bad. <laughs> From the 45 on his 45. That was at least a 52-yarder on the air. And from where he was standing, I call that a good 60 yards. Uh, so uh, the kicker, Christoph Martinez, thought he was kicking off, except it was a punt, and it went into the end zone. So it'll be first and 10 for the Huskies. 818 left in the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Donald Salina. Ball all the way to my right. We've had a bunch of guests, and hopefully we're going to get some more. Hey, these guys, we're on Don Pablo. Yeah, yeah. They're off to uh, go drink some Diet Sprite. Yeah, I bet you. I bet you. <laughs> <laughs> or unsweetened tea. Yeah. <laughs> it's a sweep. It's not going to sweep. Sweep. Oh, sweep, sweep. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Sweep to the right. As Wadis Lincoln had some good blocking, they broke outside. A good gain of what, about seven, don't it? Yeah, yeah it's a eight. very effective block. Give him eight, man. Give him eight. Yep, second. I want to give him seven, you're going to give him eight. All right, don't seven it. and two coming up. We're going to give him seven. That's called second and three coming up. Even though the board says two, Pablo says three. That's right. But I think you're going to give eight officially. That's 84, that's 84. All right, they're going to get going now. What did you say that? That's right. Bobcat should be holding him on this particular drive as Water Lincoln goes split left, split right. Motion going across the formation to the Bobcat's right. And it's going to be a dive up the middle, and he's going to be stopped short. Oh, but it's going to be a third down no matter what. They're going to have a chance. Oh, this spot. If they go into defense with the yeah, spot. First down. He's already calling it to Greg. Wow. So he was on the side of the line. Move those chains. I tell you, Pablo. Wow. You got to go to the side of the line and roll over here. Very generous spot, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but the rest have been consistent, and we can yeah, say that. they have. They yeah. have. As long as they keep on doing it on both sides of the field and doing it all night long, there's nothing wrong with that. It's like an umpire having a strike zone. Hey, I'm calling yeah, it that's all right. Night if, long. You, if you call them the low strike, you're everybody. Going outside, and you got to know that. Yeah. So first and 10, they're at the 31-yard line. Twins Bobo. left, twins right. Bobcats in a cover three. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, the right as a player, we have a shout-out. Uh -uh. I have to say it, Donut, to the love of my life. Dolly Gonzalez, listening to ValleyCentral.com. I'll be heading to Benson Road when this game is over, Donut. You know what I'm talking about. Beethoven, Hello, coming your way. <laughs> Beethoven. <laughs> Little shout-out going out to my wife, Edith. Babe, I love you. Uh, <laughs> say hi to mom. Say hi to everybody out in Roma. She's rocking the drum up all again, home alone. Oh, okay, I got you. So, you got family. Uh, Take care of the family. Yeah, Take care of the family, baby. You do what you have to do. And again, I love you. I support you in everything you do and do what you have to do. Let's shout out to Kayla and Kyra. Kayla and Kyra. Two very good uh, young ladies doing it. You as a father doing a great job. Two outstanding ladies. Uh, one is in college. One's got all A's. And if you're the father, you're thinking, Kayla Skittles. Once again, that's to my girls, Kyla, Kayla and Kyra. I love you all, man. Enjoy the game. In the meantime, we're going to move those chains. Right as Lincoln throw a little, a little quick pass to the right, Donut. Broke it down the sideline and tippy toe for a good 20. And as Donut and I already pointed out, they've moved those chains on it. Yep, one more time. Class of 84, class of 84, class of 84, class of 84. Right, fire them up, let's go, Pablo. Class of 84, class of 84. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we keep joking about that. We were here with you uh, a couple weeks ago, and for some reason, they had the class of 84 in the stands, and for some reason, we just started mentioning the class of 84, and the Bobcats caught fire. Yeah. So we're going to go with the class of 84, class of 84, class of 84. Right, no. And there's an outside sweep to the left. It was some good blocking, right. but there's a... There's a penalty on the block. Yeah, I think so, Donna. You saw it. As you can see, the young man limping. Uh, probably an illegal cut block. And a chop block or a cut block, ladies and gentlemen, means you block below the waist. And it's illegal in some circumstances, but in others it is not. And those rules were uh, designed for the safety of the game. And uh, they made that call, Donna. Now, the Husky trying to explain to the ref what he did it doesn't matter. Yeah, but I did. Yeah, they pulled away because, you know what? The call was made. They're never going to. Oh, you know what? I changed my mind, guys. I believe you know. The call was made, Donna. Here we go. Here comes the call. We're going to make sure it's the right call. There's uh, Tiberes on the call, and it was. Yes, sir. You you saw it from up here. Of course, Donut, ladies and gentlemen, whether you know or not, Donut Salinas, former referee, head referee, uh, matter of fact, referee some of my games there at Brewster Longhorn Field 
and does a great job. Not only does he see the eagle eye from up here, but it comes from experience as you get the insight. Obviously, for me, the game of football, but from doing it, the knowledge of the game, what the referees see, you get the all around up here, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Paul, let me tell you what. I mean, I talk to you and my, I mean, myself. I consider myself uh, part of the team, and Paul, oh, we, we got some great compliments. Man. And, and ladies and gentlemen, it means a lot. Don't don't ever think that time out. What you think doesn't matter. It, believe me, it matters. And uh, Paul, it's been nothing but good news. So Joe Bowling and uh, Aaron Science, Paul Osbury, myself, Donut, hey, everybody said we did a good job last night, man. And, and, and let me tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, that's probably what you're going to get coming in the playoffs. That's what I like to hear, Donut. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, here we go. About to get twins left, twins right. Quarterback's in the shotgun. Got a tailback on his left hip to the wide side of the field. It's going to be a pass. He rolls out to his left or to the Bobcats' right, and he's going to decide to keep it. As he, as he, ooh, it looked like he had a footstep the whole way. He didn't have his heart, he didn't have his heart in that run, don't it? He was expecting the hit before the hit came. And he rumbles down the field for a gain of about what they needed. They needed 25, 25. and he got about 10, yeah, maybe give 12. 12. Give him 12. All right, we're going to go with 12. So it's going to be second and 17 coming up for the uh, Huskies. Uh, we're down to six minutes left. The so clock is ticking as they were gonna, both teams are grinding out on the ground. And, you know, usually the clock will continue to run, obviously, but for the exception of, a move those chains, which we haven't given you here in a while. Uh, the clock is continuing to run. As Donut called, Wad is Lincoln in the huddle, taking uh, their sweet time. Under six minutes, third quarter. Bobcat still up by the score of 76. Pablo. Right here. Wad is Lincoln got twins left and split right. Uh, if you're the Bobcats, the Bobcats come on the blitz, and they're going to get to him because he scrambled, but he somehow made it free up the middle. He's scrambling down the middle, and he stayed on his feet as he was pressured and got pressured and ran through the middle and went a good 20 yards before he was touched. He and got it. 15, he got, he got 20. 20. So one time, move, move those chains. A good old shot that went out to me, Sayel. What? The Leon, who came up with that move them chains when we see the Cowboys at the Avila. So, hey, Miss Ayel, you don't know what you started. I like it. He's matter of fact, he's he's part of the reason for these shirts. So we go DP or not? DP? Yeah, uh, Doc, no, Doctor Pepper. <laughs> DP. I don't know if I don't know if people understand the DP. We double gotta play. be. It's not a double play. It's not a Doctor Pepper. It's donut and pop. Not a key pass. <laughs> well, there you go. Yes, sir. All right, twins left, twins right. Bobcats are coming on the blitz. They've shown it already because they can't hold back. And, in fact, they are coming up the blitz. It's going to be a play-action pass. Good time for it. As he breaks wow. outside, goes down the sideline for a solid gain. That's how pretty much how they scored the last time. It was a great call, either intentional or by luck. Bottom line was the Bobcats are blitzing up the middle. They threw it to the outside, and they're going to move those chains. All the way down to the 11-yard line. We're going to move them one more time, maybe. Ooh, how does Lincoln is driving? Another shout out to Dolly. Her says her her uh, DollySense.com coming in and out. Dolly, Kate, you didn't hear the entire shout out to you, Dolly Gonzalez, loving my life out there. Benson Road is calling. Timeout, Bobcats again. Yeah, they want to think about it because Waters Lincoln is basically made some adjustments and they're driving on the Bobcats. Wait a second, let's think about this. All right, so we're gonna see what happens right now. Timeout field, ladies and gentlemen. Down to 505 left in the third quarter, and it's going to be the final game for the Bobcats this year. They're open next week, and of course, this year they won't be going to the playoffs. Uh, and uh, Paul, yeah, so. a win's got to be big for the man. I mean, yes, there's you, no better you, way to finish the season than with a victory, man. No matter whether it's going to be the only, I think Coach Gasta years back. He won one game, and it was the last game of the season. And I, we talked about it when I did a we did a uh, pregame interview on the field that one time with Cat TV, and uh, yeah, I told him, Coach, uh, the other guys had lost on a Thursday or something. He was playing on Friday. The other two guys were in, in the playoffs. So that meant that only the Cougars could finish the season with a victory, and they did. So, and they did. Uh, yeah, I mean that. You know, it means a lot to these kids, especially these seniors. And yeah, I told you. They're going to remember. Hey, we with all the uh, people that are here today, tonight, all the coaches are special guests. You know, you know, uh, there's not a whole lot of fans and in the, in the, in a lot of people in the stands for Waters Lincoln, but I'll tell you what, there's a good job for the Bobcats. Playing at home, you know, I'm sure they want to finish on the win, like you said, don't it? And they're having a lot of trouble because Waters Lincoln is driving as Bobcats are staring at Twins right. Basically Twins on both sides, but they're very close to the formation. Quarterback under the center this time. There's a reason for that, ladies and gentlemen, as it is going to be a quarterback bootleg means he fakes it rolls out to his right he's got a man wide open he dropped it donut yes and i'm not even for the other team and it hurt me ladies and gentlemen when we talk about open 
I mean, there wasn't a bobcat within 15 yards. 15 yards, quarterback threw a touch pass, and nobody more upset than number seven down there. But I'll tell you what, that was an unfortunate drop, Tony. It won't. I mean, you can't even catch one that easy in practice. And then you people on the field, hey, let's warm up. He's even more open than that. And he dropped it, ladies and gentlemen, just how it went down. In the end zone. Oh, my God. I mean, I can't, I can't believe you didn't go touchdown. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> Here we go. But this time they have no chance. Second and ten. Uh, they have no chance for a first down as it is pretty much end goal. Cormac's going to do the option to the right. Defensive end takes oh, care of that. Throw the flag, Greg. Great job by the defensive end. Uh, yes, as as Guerrero, Stephen Guerrero was looking for a flag. He thought he was held. Oh, he was pushing way right to the back, holding. They pushed him from the back. He did everything but take his helmet. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, Guerrero, even though he did not make the tackle, Guerrero, give Guerrero credit for Turn half of the tackle because he turned the run inside. And thanks to the pursuit of the Bobcats, that's how the defense is supposed to work. Give credit for the Bobcats, especially Guerrero. Here we go. It's going to be third and 13. They were at the 10. And Paul, tell yeah, about the spot on the ball. He was like the, the 11 over here. We went out of bounds. Yeah. The ref went over there. Greg put it at the 10. Yes, that's <laughs> some generous stuff tonight. But I'll tell you what, it's like the strike zone. Like no more. That was yesterday. Uh, yeah, right now it's a bunch of tricks. These guys are having oh, treats. Time. Depends what you're for. We have another timeout, don't it? And it's going to be a Husky timeout. So once again, I'm Donut Salinas. Do my right. Paul, a very good friend of mine, former Twin Fire. And Pablo. There was all. Uh, how many times did I call you? Get over here. Get over here. Donut, I, I, I did not understand what you were saying. Of course, oh, Donut Salinas is calling me, and he's trying to explain to me that. Go ahead. We got floated. We, we got floated. We got floated. And I was like, what? What? I'm thinking, what? He's, no, there's no way. No, they're on the field. And everybody's wearing jerseys. Wait, what? And I'm trying to hop out of here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not a speeder. I just don't do that. But I'll tell you what, Donut. I did shh. I did speed on the freeway. Hey, Coming shh. Sh I did speed, yes. Uh, but when I got off the side, so no, down. there's DPS Hernandez. Where? Well, so I can tell him you were speeding. No, no, no. Okay. Atiaga. Atiaga hey, saw me and he gave me an hey, escort. That's short guy over there. That was Atiaga. Hey. How are you, Atiaga? Hey. He's tough, man. He's tough. Oh, he's really he good. does his job. That's man. a former All State linebacker for the Bobcats. No way. Yeah, Atiaga. That's second, him? Second team All State? Yeah, Javier Tiaga, good friend of mine, DPS officer, former second team All State middle linebacker for the Bobcats back in the mid '80s. That's him, Pablo. That's him, brother. And he could, let me tell you, he could take care of that Mexican could play, brother. And I say it like that. I say it like that. He could hit. Buenas noches. Como estas? Here we go. Third and thirteen from the thirteen. All right. By virtue of motion, it trips right and split left. It's for what is. Uh, and he's going to throw it up for grabs. It's a floater. And he threw it in the coverage. Oh. There are, I don't, we're all upset because basically the ball was just floated so much up there. The Bobcat defender was just doing all he could to turn around. He bumped into the receiver. Didn't look like a bunch to me, though. They're going to call a penalty. First, first and, and goal, goal for the, from the something and half the distance, though. No, no. It's See? in the end zone and they're inside the 20. Oh, it's in the end zone. I thought it was out of bounds, but anyway. Here we go. Here's the call. I uh, case it, Greg. Greg used to work for me at the boys club when I was the executive director in, in FAR. In FAR. And uh, he was one of my staff uh, members at Greg Ontiveros, uh, the head ref. We're sort of going out to him and his family. It's going to be here. There's room in the ball now. Well, it depends. Was it pass interference or? Oh, anyway, personal foul. Personal foul. I mean, something happened. We couldn't quite see it. It was on the far side of the field. I think the ball was uncatchable, and someone went and hit him yeah. unnecessarily, don't it? All right, so it's going to be first and goal ball Half at the, the six-yard line. Yes, sir. So why does Lincoln appreciate that penalty? Because they would have, they would have basically had to go for a field goal if not go for it. But now, it is first and goal, don't it? There we go. We'll see what's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. We're four minutes left in the third quarter. It's still the Bobcats over the Huskies, seven-six. Huskies knocking on the door. All right, they got a run formation to head it off. He's going to bounce it outside. He's got to have some speed and not quite fast enough as the Bobcats bring him down very hard on the line of scrimmage. But we did have a flag thrown. Not sure who it is. He's got to come off the field. That uh, there he is. That was a sweep to the outside. That was Martin Diaz for the Huskies trying to get outside. They couldn't make it. Yeah, we had a flag, don't it? All right. I want to say it was uh, going to be on the Huskies. There it is. Refs made the call, so I'm going to make the call up here. Valentin Colunga playing a little bit too hard for the Huskies. Oh. Uh, maybe his fingers got stuck. Who knows? <laughs> he made the call twice because he declined the first one, and then they realized <laughs> the Bobcats weren't declining it. So now they're going to spot the ball at the six, and they're going to bring him back 10 yards. 
then it'll be first and first and six. This time the Bobcats catch the break. The first and goal. First and Brewster, a limb time and will exit for what is Lincoln Huskies as they go backwards and the Bobcats catch a break as they get a little breather, a little more room behind them, don't it? Uh, you think Sherryland had a little bit more fans than La Jolla? Uh, probably a few more. All right. I don't think that, that the uh, Juarez Lincoln sold out tonight. Well, we couldn't get this one live. No, I got you, brother. Right. And it's going to be another bootleg as quarterback play actually pass. He gets thrown out of the pocket. The Bobcats are going to pressure him. And, in fact, they're going to sack him. Watch give credit. Watch yeah, out. settle Watch down. Out. But Watch give out. credit to Great. Armando Senadon. Uh, celebrating a little too much, feeling pretty good yeah, about it. Yeah, you have to Greg, let him do that. Greg he did stop in the nick of time, don't it? Real close, Greg. Um, the head ref looking out. He said, hey, 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 hey. Slow down. Anything. Slow this down. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Early in the game, we don't want to pass. Uh, it. Yeah, yeah. He set you up for that. He fake it and then the tighten up the middle. Yes, yeah, sir. That's a statue. Uh, that reminds me of uh, John Palanese to Steve Alanese. To, uh, John, John Palanese. 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 Steve Alanese. Run, 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 run. Play action, Steve Alanese. Hey, touchdown. Steve, Thank you. Steve got a national championship? Steve okay. played for Notre Dame in 1987, played for Lou Holtz, and has a national championship ring. I've seen it. It's gorgeous as he graduated from the University of Notre Dame and played for the Versus national pass. champs, the Fighting Irish. He got a big third down play. Pass. I did. I, I saw it. That. I they needed a third down. Needed, I don't know what, about they 10, about 12. Like from Edinburgh? Yeah, a little 12-yard hook, a little 12-yard yeah. curl, a little like a skinny yeah. post. He made the catch going down to the ground and caught the ball that they gave Steve Brown, who's former uh, Stuart, a future NFL or, uh, all, uh, NFL All Pro, gave him a break. So it's going to be now third and goal from the 21-yard line. Shh. Now we're headed back. Now we're headed out to the Do you try to get everything, or you just no? Don't, don't I, I don't think so because it, yes, sir. Because such a defensive struggle, you're going to take any points you can get. In my opinion, let's see what happens. They're going to do the the horn route, but it's very well covered by the Bobcats. And if he stays in bounds, uh, out of bounds. he went out of bounds. Very well covered. Uh, depends on how, how good the Juarez Lincoln feels about their, their kicking team because I'll tell you what, at a 6-7 to seven game deep in the third quarter, 31, 30 look, they're bringing on a lot of uh, different personnel. They're making them be yeah, kicking it. Set it up. I see and uh, with a defensive struggle like this, Donal, three points means quite a bit because it's just barely. Bobcats are up 7-6. to six. Juarez Lincoln should, would love to get three points and go up 9-6, to 9-7. to seven. Uh, What, 40 yard? Let's see, 39, a 37. 38. We're going to call officially from the booth of 38. 38. Any win? No, look no at win is not a factor, but I'll tell you what, it's still a good kick by any measure for anybody. It's a good snap. It's a good hold. And it's going to just got just enough legs. If it's outside, it's good. Field goal. No. Ready? Field goal, Huskies. Huskies, field goal. Field goal, Huskies. are now down by two with 2.44 left in the third quarter. I'm Don Salinas. I got Paul on right to my right. You got, you're listening to valleyshead.com. Look at that picture, man. And you're going to get the picture. That's TV later. in effect, From baby. That's TV. And, and I was telling these guys, Paulo, how up. many uh, people told me that, I mean, these guys had a church meeting. And they connected their uh, iPad to the projector. No way. And we're watching it uh, on, a ten foot, on a 10-foot screen. On a 10-foot screen. screen. He said, you should have seen the picture, though, you should have seen the picture. Wow, don't I can imagine. Now that's how you watch a game. Leo, we got any scores? Leo Reyes in the house. Be a coordinator. What did he say? Class 84, <laughs> class 84. <laughs> class 84, class 84. All right, here we go. Maybe Bobcats will get something going right here. It'd be beautiful. They could come out with a victory for not only to end the season, but, of course, to the to the ex-Bobcats and oh, yes. ex-coach. I see young and team. old here. I told, the co I told Coach uh, Casales, I said, if you add up all those coaches, age right there is about 3,000. Oh, yes, sir, and experience and championships. Oh, uh, and muchos. Hey, Coach Flores, never had a season. Never. Never in one district, um, uh, basically more than half the time. Pretty darn good. As a low squib kick fielded uh, relatively oh. cleanly on the five. He just He's going right up the middle. Not much blocking as the squib kick basically bounced. It took a long time and it gave for an effective uh, uh, kickoff. And uh, what did he brought? What did he brought down to 22, don't it? Yeah, call it to 22. It'll be first and 10 for the Bobcats. We're down to 238 left in the third quarter. Pablo. Give us over. Yeah. Don't I have a little special thing in you for you to run the ball like that? Don't it. Don't it. I did it. You did it? I returned kickoffs for the Bobcats, and I did not like it, but I did it. And I'll tell you, there's something to be said about a guy running full speed this way and a bunch of guys running the full speed the other way. 
Yeah, I did it, and uh, it does take a special breed. Did, did you run any big run back? I did not run a touch. I did not run any back, but I did in my junior year, and I, I did average quite a bit. But I'll tell you what, it was scary. Here we go, first and ten for the Bobcats. Ball at the 22 yard line. We're down to 238 left in the third it's quarter. It's gonna be a pass. Harrison the shotgun got a man open in the flats. Makes a nifty grab. They 81, eight, and they got eight. That's their alt. Makes a grab for a gain of eight, and that's gonna be second and look goes. At this, look at the spot. What? Oh, second and one? What the? <laughs> I'll tell you what, look the at the spot. spot. The refs you are know? generous tonight, but I'll tell you what, they're generous second on both sides. Six, uh, second and my shoe size when I was in fifth grade. Here we go. Water Lincoln is blitzing. Good time for a pass. They throw it in the flats. This time it's Arbiter going. Catches it. Oh, throw out. Makes a grab. A very good grab. Two in a row for the Go for the Bobcat. Move those chains. They need a one and they got 11. Mm -hmm. down very down. nice. Three down. So it's going to be first and 10 for the Bobcats. Now the ball quickly set at the 44 yard line. Bobcats got something going. Watch out for number five on that pass route. Oh, yeah. They're throwing a few bombs to him. This time the Bobcats are moving. Bobcats got twins left, twins right. Harrison is shotgun. He's got uh, Alvarez to his right. It's going to be a pass. Got plenty of time. Looking down the field. Rolls out to his left. Feels the pressure. He may throw it away. He should throw it away. I don't know who decided to who hit who. But I'll tell you what, Harrison made up his mind. I'm going to take you on. Uh, unfortunately, it was a loss of one or two. Hey, Paul, you just you put a short. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Now, if we can describe it, ladies and gentlemen, Harrison was rolling out. Uh, and he was you could see the collision coming between the linebacker from Lincoln Robert, and Harrison. Excuse me, Paul, that dog that dog ram commercial where the, the, the ram just go out. Oh wham! Bam, right that there. was a Dodge Ram hit right there, and I think Harrison got the best of him. Uh, but it was a loss of two. Second and twelve. Shotgun pass. The blitz coming up the middle. He gets it away. He had to get away a little quicker than he wanted to. Uh, sure. It usually happens going after the ball's thrown. Someone can say, hey, I was open. Yeah, the ball. We threw the ball already. Of course you're open. <laughs> but Right? Everybody's always open, don't it? I was open. Of course you're open. Uh, they, did, they did a basically a 10-yard out. Uh, Theron was double uh, double team, but uh, Harrison uh, did the best he could by getting away with that ball. Oh, it was looking coming. good for the Bobcats, but the last two plays, they've gone backwards. It's now third and 12. Potters Lincoln basically gave him the blitz, and, and this time they're slowing down their pass by giving the pressure. And that's what happened. Harrison was picking them apart. This time, Wilder Lincoln's coming with the blitz again. Harrison gets it off. He's got Alvarez down the middle for the post. He makes a beautiful grab. Harrison to Alvarez, and they're going to move those chains. Bobcats pick up another first down. Quickly, they're in. Husky, Saldana, disculpa me, Saldana. Saldana on the catch. Disculpa me. All right, we got it, no problem, Pablo. That was beautiful. They'll set up the chains, they'll start the clock. Once they set up the chains, it'll be first and 10 for the Bobcats at the Husky 38-yard line. Harrison got Alvarez to his left and the shotgun twins left and right. This time he gives it to Alvarez. He gets up, he gets, you know, hard working yard. Filling the spot, knowing the spot, they're going to give him 20 yards. Oh, yeah, we're going to cut. Look, he's, he's down at the 27, they're going to bring him back. Oh, look at him, look at the ref. What do you mean, what do you mean? <laughs> The spot. Carl Tiaga to check him. Now Tiaga, there'll be some DPS down there, please. Here we go. Ball Give the line test of the ref. The game two yards. It'll be second and eight for the Bobcats. We're down to 35 seconds and counting left in the third quarter. It's still the Huskies over the Bobcats by the score of nine to seven. Harrison with Alvarez in the backfield this time. In the quarterback, he does have time. He gets it away. He's thrown down the field to Saldana. Overthrows everybody, but Saldana was double covered. Black. We have a flag on the play. Chop block. It doesn't look good if you're the Bobcats. If you're Lincoln, you're thinking, oh, you're already use this break. Range? Yeah, they're in field goal range, unless they go backwards. What do you do, don't it? Do you decline or do you take it? Oh, you better take them back because the kickers will put them from there. Yeah. Yeah, good call, don't you? Uh, don't Second it? Second down again. Field goal range. Second down, but it's going to go back 15. No, 15. That's going to put it way back. That's going to be second. Oh, and I got a question. Kevazo. This is our ninth week. Yes, sir. Tenth week, because we had week zero when we started. Uh, yes. Okay, so we got one more. It was over. That, that flag hadn't been thrown for that all, all week, all first eight weeks. Oh, you, what are you talking about? Uh, that ball. particular, yes. We've seen it just only this week. Yeah, I, haven't only. Had, I haven't heard that call all year. And we've heard about five or six already in the last two nights. I used to attend the meetings of board for a risk. Yes. I'll tell you, that was a discussion on TV. Yes, you look for that, look for this, look for that, look for that. They throw it up in the air, and it's anybody's ball. They could easily call interference. It looks like incidental, incidental contact means he didn't mean it. It was an act. I'm sorry. That was third down? That was third and a whole lot. But, and, but they took it back on second down. 
It's third down coming up. Yeah, they, they got it right. Okay, they took the penalty, which now leaves it third and a whole lot. Third and 43. Third and Encino and, oh, going north. Oh, we're going the other way, Pablo. Oh, you're going oh, that, yeah, that way. Oh, we're not me, and that's out of far. They got a long way to go, ladies and gentlemen. We're down to 17 seconds. It's third and 23 for the Bobcats. Now, Pablo, Come on. you don't need the first down. Get him to the 35, somewhere in this area where he can kick it. Good well, Lincoln. why does Lincoln's in the cover, too? I mean, they're expecting the pass. Uh, so they're, they're covering anything deep by virtue of two safeties. Actually, it's a prevent. They have four guys covering the deep. This ball is going to be thrown. Oh. That's a good idea, don't it, as they threw in between the coverage. But give credit to Lincoln because they had four guys deep. They were going to give him the 10-yard pass, but not the 20. I can tell you that. All right, so it's going to be playing time for the Bobcats once again after they had it at the 38-yard line on a first and 10. They managed to get back to their own 49 on their side of the field. So it's going to be playing time for the Bobcats. We have a fourth and 23 coming up. And 12 seconds left in the third quarter. It's still the Huskies, nine. Bobcats, seven. Christoph Martinez back in punt formation. He's got his up back. Armando Palacios checking out, the personal protector. He protects him personally. And it's an end over oh. end line drive. It's not fielded cleanly. And it was bobbled by the hey. wide Lincoln player. Here. I don't know who hit who. Uh, no, they hit the they hit the punter, and he put on... An Oscar on the on the. He gets an reaction. Academy Award. Yeah, he got one. Donut Salinas throws his flag from the booth, ladies and gentlemen. It depends on the five or fifteen. Donut, what are you going to call? You're going to call five, okay? Yeah. And which means, at the very least, uh, I don't know. I take him down there in the ten, don't it? Here we go. They're explaining to the coach. Yeah. He tell him, look, look, okay, coach. I'll tell you what. That was some beautiful acting. If I was a uh, Academy Award, I'd right. give it to him, but. No, didn't work. So it's going to be decline. I bet he's going to. The five yarders are going to decline because they're going to. Yeah. Uh, by virtue of the punt, but as far as field, here goes the call. They're talking to both sides, but what happened was at the end over in punt, the Waters Lincoln player did not field it cleanly. He hit immediately, and that's going to take him down to the 12 if, in fact, the Bobcats declined this. As Coach Gossett has just tell him, but he was uh, really hurt. He was really hit. He's still there. Christoph Martinez, look at him. He's barely on his feet. So we're waiting for the call, ladies and gentlemen. For right now, three seconds left in the third quarter. And it's still the Huskies over the Bobcats by the score of nine to seven. And finally, on the is going to give us a call here. This call taking a while. Ready to kicker. Yep, it was a five-yarder donut. We called it correctly up here. Bobcats, in fact, declined it. That's a smart thing to do because uh, you pin them back deep in their own 12. That's a penalty you want to decline because you want to pin them back and give them a long field to go. All right, so it's going to be one more play before, yes, sir, we, you go, could. Appreciate before it. we go to the fourth quarter. What's your name again? We're going to have um, Omar. Omar! Hey, man, he's working hard, not only for Cash TV, helping us out up here, Donut. I'm dying of thirst, but Omar saved the day. Omar is going to take care of us one more time. Yes, sir, he's going to take care of us, Donut. Shout out going on, Omar. Good job, buddy. Sure, we've got to get a seconds left. Get last we've got one more play in the third quarter, and then we're going to have 12 minutes left. And the Bobcat 2013 season. It's close. One quarter left for the Bobcats for the year. And Huskies better be very careful as they're back in their own 12. Bobcats would love to get the ball. Bobcats are going to cover two, don't it? Uh, they're expecting the pass. Uh, and so they're going to get some good pass coverage right now. Uh, the Huskies will do a good run. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, they move. <laughs> they move, but they might have the Bobcats on the... Uh, on the neutral zone, we'll wait and see what the call is going to be. But the far side of the field, we had somebody move, but I think the <coughs> Bobcat. Was it's going to be outside. The Bobcats are going to blitz, don't it? And an automatic call by the Huskies as an automatic snap. And might as well do the what the Vela does is on a on a clear offsides. They basically throw a bomb. Why not? And the Huskies apparently what they do is they do a quarterback sneak, a quarterback sneak. But it was for not because there was some contact made. I'm sure, don't it? Yeah. So it's going to be given five yards. Uh, they didn't run the clock, so it's going to be first and five, but the ball will be placed now at the 17-yard line. Okay, looks like it goes against the Bobcats, giving the Huskies a little bit of breathing room. Bobcats didn't want to see that. They were a little bit antsy as they were coming on the blitz, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, not only are they coming on the blitz, but uh, they were a little bit, just a little bit too antsy. Yeah. So it's first and five for the 17 yard line. Two seconds left in the third quarter. It's still Huskies nine, Bobcats seven. Twins left, split right. It's going to be a dive up the middle. He's got nowhere to go. He is met by a whole bunch of blue, beautiful blue jerseys. Party for a gain of half a yard at best. All right, so that's going to take us to the end of the of three quarters of play here in Enver, Texas. We're at Enver Cat Stadium. I'm Don Salinas. Paul Alls ready to my right. We've had a bunch of ex Bobcats with us all night long. And Paul, it was great. It was, it was fun. And uh, it was a lot of fun, don't it? We got 12 minutes left in the 
2013 Bobcats season. Yes, sir, and it's time to change field. Now the Bobcats are staring at the north, and Wadley Lincoln is staring at the south. Uh, Wadley Lincoln would love to get out of there with this field position, and Bobcats would love to hold them back, don't it? Yeah, and again, we talk about field position, and, and right now, if anything, the Bobcats, after declining that, that, that uh, we're running into the punter is going to be maybe in their favor right now, Pablo. Are you on? you have to yawn? Or? No, sir. I was just stretching my jaws. I wasn't yawning, don't it? All right. Here we go. It's going to be second and four coming up for the Huskies ball at their own 18-yard line. Bobcats staring at twins left and split to the right. Quarterback in the shotgun with two running backs. One of them basically an extra blocker. And it's, in fact, going to be a quarterback keeper. Sweep to their the right. The ball, he gets outside. He's got some yards to gain. Flag on the play. Probably holding former referee Donald Salinas making the call all the way up from the booth. If it depends on the call, it's, as it stands, it's a first down, a good 15-yard run, but it's probably a holding, don't it? Yeah, he already called it. He made the side. It's going to be a holding, so it's going to take it back 10 yards. So after picking up a first Eesh. down, it's going to bring him back from the – is he going for the spot of the foul? I'm wanting to see there. Yeah, the spot of the foul is probably half the distance. They can't take him the whole way, don't it? Yeah, it's going to be from the foul right there. He told him it happened about the 17, 18-yard line. Take him back 10, so it's going to be – Again, second and 12, maybe? We'll wait and see, Paul. I'm trying to figure it out here, but the math is not working with, today. Well, I don't know. It depends where the foul, because you know they're going to take him. they got to do basically half the distance of the goal, and he marches halfway back, don't it? And it's going to be what? On the nine, on the way there. Second and what? Second and 13. 12. 12. 13. Can we get a last name? 13. What? Santiago. Omar. Omar Santiago. Omar Santiago. Edinburgh Bobcats in the house. Uh, Cats TV helping us out, saving the day, don't it? I'll tell you what, if it went for Omar, we wouldn't be talking good up here. <laughs> Appreciate it, Omar. Ooh. You missed. Hey, no basketball for you. All right, here we go. It's going to be third, second and 13, ball at the nine-yard line. Looks like uh, uh, Twins right, split left. He's going to roll out to his right, to his left. He's going to throw a man into the flats. He's got him open. He needed 13, and he got about... What, eight? Eight or nine, yeah. Eight, so we're calling a third. Oh, wait, very wait, scary wait. three. You never know with these guys. Yes, it could be third and one. Well, we know. <laughs> no, it's going to be, Paul. Oh, it's going to be one. Uh, call it three more, four. Third and four coming up. Big play for the Bobcat defense right here. If you want to keep the, the momentum as far as good field position, you got to hold them here, Hold them right here. Hold them. You better make your best defensive call tonight. Class 84. Right here. Class 84. Class 84. Class 84. Here we go. And then... Uh, here we go. It looks like Bobcats are blitzing. Mm. And it, 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 I don't know, don't it? I think the offense can move Hard first. Count. Hard count. I don't know, don't it? It depends because both. Only the center. I moves. think the yes, but I think he moved. I think he uh, he thought it was going to be offside. He snapped it too soon. We're going to find out right here. Uh, it, it, they're probably going to go against the defense because, you know, uh, uh, when both guys go, go jump, they're going to probably call it against the defense. But either the offense it's moved early and the defense. So I think we'll wait and see. I mean, what, what's They're there? talking to the wide as Lincoln's why, coaches. Why? Uh, I can answer for you. Uh, take the penalty. Right. So why would you even ask? Uh, because they have to, I guess. So for the Huskies, move those chains. chains. We're going to change one more time for the Huskies. At 11.42 left, and <coughs> they'll start the clock. Mm, yes, we did. And start the clock. And start the clock. All Clock's right. ready. All right, first and 10, they're at the 25-yard line. Uh, Bobcats had them pinned back to the 9-yard line quickly. They're out to the 25. Uh, uh, we're at 11 and a half left, Paulo, in the ball. Game. All right, the Huskies catch a break and get away from their end zone. Bobcats this time, uh, good defensive stand. There was a little bit of room up the middle, but it, the hole closed quickly after a gain of three and a half. Yeah. Did that pretty good? Did I make that right? That, that, that's I'm learning. I was going to say two and a half, but I know the ref, so I said three and a half. All right, so it's going to be second and call it seven coming up for the Huskies. Under 11 minutes left in the Bobcat 2013 season. Don't it? I, I just got. A, I just had a flashback. I was thinking of all those boys down there. I was thinking of guys I played with on the field, on that field down there, and guys before me and during and after. I'll tell you what, it was, it was awesome. If you missed it earlier, ladies and gentlemen, we had some coaching legends up here. We had some former players, oh. players that are coaches at this time for the Bobcats, for La Feria, for the Cougars. Uh, and as we're talking, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, if you're the Bobcats, Wadley Lincoln just made a beautiful pass. Uh, what They needed about, what, 10, and they got 14. Yep. So they're going to move those chains. And put the ball at the 39. 
yard line. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's a lot of time left, but the Bobcats need something to go dart their way because right now they're down by the score of nine to seven. And they, I, I hope they pull it off with all the gentlemen that joined us today, by the way. Well, while I'm thinking it's found, uh, made some adjustments in their pass to work right now, but the Bobcats can do to counter is give that quarterback pressure because he has a lot of time in right now. Bobcats looking at trips right. Quarterback rolls out to his left, and he throws a wobbly pass to Flats. And, oh, ah, that's an outstanding effort. Yeah. An outstanding effort by the Juarez Lincoln player, Brandon Ramirez, as he tried to continue to play, he tried to keep his tippy toes in bounds, but uh, he wasn't able to do it as it was a very wobbly pass, but bottom line, it was incomplete. Second and yes. And it'll stop the clock at 10.09 left, ladies and gentlemen. It's still Huskies 9, Bobcat 7. Leo, we got any scores? Leo, Ray, FP coordinator. We're trying to get some scores, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, everybody's interested in who's going to be seated three and who's going to be seated four. Yeah, we're going to find that's out. That's being decided right now in Donna, Texas. Coach Avila. Donna and who? Donna and Jax. Oh, that's going to be a good one. I wish we had some scores on that one, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Two good teams right there. This time the Bobcats shift over on the D-line. Uh, and, oh, they just missed the outside. That's some fair football out there. They're not playing too below out there. I'll tell you what, that was a nifty little run uh, by uh, Martin Diaz, but... He was introduced to he two. Up four yards. He picked up four yards and he got introduced to the Bobcats secondary, but after but after a good four yard game. All right, third and six coming up. We're down to under 9:45 left in the 2013 season for the Bobcats. And uh, follow, they gotta pull out this victory, man. I'm calling the Bobcat victory. 24, 24, 24. Here we go. All right, Bobcats looking at twins left, split right. Quarterback in the shotgun is going to roll out to the right. going to be a quarterback keeper as he tries to break it outside. In fact, he does get outside. Some very nifty blocking. Get credit to Juarez Lincoln for making some outstanding blocks. I did. That's a legal block. I did see him get cut. That is a legal block, but they really did catch him down low. Uh, give credit to Juarez Lincoln as they pick up about 19. They're going to move those chains. We're moving them one more time for the Huskies. And as soon as the chain gets in, they're going to stop the clock. And guards up. Don't add your, that's me. Don't add. Oh, that's I'm the only one can talk real quick and All fast right, like here that. We go. Oh, it's going to be first and 10 ball at the 42 yard line. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, because you're just joining us, it's Bobcat football tonight from Menberg. Bobcats are down by a score of 9 to 7. Huskies got, just got into Bobcat territory there They're at driving. the 42 yard line. Twins left, twins right. Quarterback in the shotgun. This time, Bobcats are going to come with a blitz. And it's a good time for it because they ran up the middle. And that's, in fact, where they blitz from. And they sacked, they basically hit the running back. As soon as he got the ball, they're going to call it lots of two? Lost Are you telling me peace? Or lots of two? Lost of two, so it'll be oh. second and 12 coming up. Pablo, they had him at the nine? Yes, sir. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, give credit to Juarez Lincoln for finding a hole in the defense with a couple of nifty runs to the outside. They were going outside, outside. Give credit to Juarez Lincoln because they got the edge. And you know when an offense gets outside, advantage offense. After this play, I'm going to ask Julio a question. Is that all right? Uh, go for it. Una pregunta. Oh, and the Bobcats are blitzing. They're Guerrero on his tail. And the quarterback, all he could do was throw it in this the nick of time because Guerrero was hunting him down. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Julio Camacho for the Bobcats without a victory. Hey, we heard it, the premonition. He's calling the Bobcat victory. We called it. We got eight minutes and 45 seconds, Julio. Oh, 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 oh. We're calling it. Bobcat's going to score one more time. All right. It's Julio making the call with 845. Guess some lottery tickets here. tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got some scores. P going. coordinator. Who? What's the score? E. 20, All right. 46. We got, we heard it from Leo Reyes, uh, uh, P coordinator for Edinburgh School District. Oh, uh, Donna oh, is up 24 to 6 on Economides in the fourth quarter. That's unfortunate. Uh, but as we're talking, the Bobcats, uh, Juan Lincoln throws a little screen up the middle, and Armando Palacio says, I heard the call. I knew you were going to do that. A loss of four. All right, so it's going to be fourth and 14 coming up for the Huskies, and Bobcats will get the ball. Is Julio making the right call? Uh, he made it. He made it with confidence. Confianza. Confianza. <laughs> that was an easy call. You're right about that, Fasil. As a punt formation, Class of 84, Class of 84. All right, here we go. And it's a good snap. He's got plenty of time. He does get the ball away, but it's a very short kick. Depends what kind of hop we take. It takes no hop and dies on the spot as a bob catch. Uh, that's a good idea. That's a good good field position, uh, considering how far, the how close the water's linking were to punting. 22 yards at the 22 yard line, that's not bad, Pablo. That's not, that considering where they were punting. 
You got to put something together here via the Bobcats because if not, the way the game is going, Uncle yeah. is going, uh, La Jolla can pick up two or three first downs and that clock will go to zero. I, uh, I, would I would hope, I would expect the Bobcats to do some sweeps. For some reason, the yards have been gained on the outside tonight by both teams. At the Bobcats, uh, Harrison in the shotgun, two, uh, two running backs set, split left, split right. And it's going to be a tricky play. He's going to go the outside on the right. He's got one man to beat. He cuts it inside. But not after a gain of eight. Of course, knowing the rest, it's a gain of nine. <laughs> so we'll call it eight. It'll be second and two coming up with the Bobcats. And Pablo, that's, Goes not, that's not a bad start for, no, the, sir. for the drive here. Yes, it was basically off, off the left tackle. Uh, give credit to Alvarez. Uh, Saldana, I'm sorry, uh, made a good run. Uh, bounced it outside. And after a good nifty gain of eight. Uh, and the Bobcats looking at a second notto. Second and Nato. Second and Nato. Second and Nato. Or for Donut, a free play means it costs you nothing, I guess, apparently. All right, here he goes. Watch Harrison in the shotgun. Got to Bobcat pass. And it's going to be a play there. action. Got them open in the flats. And that's going to be needed four. And they got five. So the Bobcats are going to move, move those chains. Get the, get Pablo, you you got said it. Five. Yeah. Get to the outside. That's a nifty little play considering the defensive uh, secondary that they had. Cover three. Your safety has to cover deep. They ran the safety off. The linebacker has to run out there in the flats. And a running back or a wide receiver is going to outrun them all day long. That's in fact what happened. Bobcats get a first down. Hey, there. Pablo, one more time. Cast TV. Great. Man. I see him. The camera crew over here. I'm sitting here just relaxed, kicking back. You know? You know, Pablo? I see it. I'm not even looking at the, I'm looking at the screen. I see the guy oh. at the middle. He's oh. going on his feet. Alvarez. Oh. Alvarez. Makes a gorgeous run. They need a 10, and he picks up 20. So they're going to move those chains. Look at that camera shot. Look at that. Did Julio make the right So far, he's looking pretty good. Get some lottery tickets. Class 84, class 84. Hey, the lady drives up. That lady that, you know, likes yes. the lady. To, yes, the, 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 the side the way lady. They it's a singer. It, they put it back in the well, car. Well, is it, ma'am? Hold on, ma'am. Yeah, hold on. Harrison the shotgun. Two running back sets. Foot left, foot right. He's going to give it to Abra going up the middle, and he's still on his feet. He busts it outside. Thanks. And that's a gain. I was going to say seven. Look at the ref. Giving him 11. Why not? <laughs> wow. That's a spot for you right there. I'll tell you what, for the Bobcats, they're driving. All right, so uh, it's going to move the chain one more time. Here comes oh, up. yes. Here comes up the wait, 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 wait. He's going to check. He's going to check. Uh -huh. Don't oh, what? Check on. what? Don't he got it by a, by a yard. I'm going to call it good. I'm going to call it good by half a yard, which is a oh, football and a half. Well, you see, Paul, the, Don't it. the bar is sitting. Why don't they have those little white lines all over yeah, the place? Use them. Use them. Come on, don't it. Half a yard, don't it, which Ladies, means over a football. Isn't that cross-sided or something? Over a football, don't it. Over a football. Where's uh, Officer Atiaga? Look at that, Mia. Yeah. A whole football, don't it. Look at the camera crew. You can even read the football. Great job, Cast TV. Is that Rick? The laces. Is that Rick? Rick, zooming in. Dr. Peña, how is it? Rick. Rick. Oh. Uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, somewhere they were working their eyes. Hey, I can't say it. All right. No free commercial. No, I can't sing her song, whatever the song no, is. No. I can tell you it's a cowboy fan. That's what I can tell you. <laughs> Who ain't a cowboy fan? Hey, man, brother. I was such a fan. I was one, baby. That a baby, Pablo. That's great, man. Hey, man. Dolphins. Dolphins. Oh. <laughs> 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 overtime. Oh, they won overtime. A safety. 1972. Oh, the best, uh, most, uh, only undefeated team in the history of the NFL. Uh, uh, John Shula and met Don Shula. I spent a week with the Dolphins long ago. Didn't get picked up by him and had a long conversation with Coach Shula. As he hung around practice, was checking out. The, there were two punters doing it. If I had made it, I could, it would have been a Dolphin, but I didn't. I, thought, I said, Coach Shula, can I talk to you, please? Stuck around, had me a conversation with Coach Shula, uh, Hall of Fame coach. I was outstanding. I was hanging out with the Miami Dolphins for a week doing it, and I got released. Uh, but I would have a chance to talk to Coach uh, Shula. I'll tell you what, that was awesome, Donut. I bet, man. Imagine, Pablo? I did. I did it. I could imagine. I can remember. You remember. I remember. I'm a member. And it's a run up the middle. He's going to break it outside. He's got one man to beat. I don't think he's going to beat him. And it's out oh. Hey, hey. 
We're all running from the flag. We're hitting the glass with our flags up here. All right, it's going to be first and 10. One more time for the Bobcats. Move those chains. Come on, Bobcats. Get your victory, Coach Casanet. Find a way. Bobcats are driving. Uh, it's a very sustained drive. Bobcats would love for the clock to grind down. Abrego did go out of bounds on that first down run, on that first uh, on that uh, long run. Uh, give credit to the Bobcats for finding uh, the, making the right adjustments. Don't they're driving? Six oh five. Money hungry. Money hungry. 2013 season for the Bobcats, and they could come out with a victory. All right, a tight formation, split right. As Harrison definitely going to be a run up the middle, and he's going to grind. This time they're trying to grind it out. Alvarez That's followed his lockers, his blockers, and he's going to get. going to give him about four and a half, don't it? Excuse me, they're that's Bobcat football, man. Yeah, that's Coach is right there. Grinding and grinding. And yeah. Just wear you out. Yeah, it's about four tight ends on each side. And everybody comes and, yeah, up and boom. Run behind uh, Adrian uh, Cavazos. Let's go. Everybody comes in, and then you get on the knees. I ain't let you. Go. Yeah. Yep. Oscar Salinas up the middle. Oscar Salinas up the middle. Oscar Salinas up the middle. Oh, Boom. Jump ball to <laughs> Alanis. Touchdown. How about the classic remark from Avila said, some of these guys are still growing. Some of these guys are still growing. <laughs> You're killing and me. And he's not talking about vertical, don't it? No. Outside, Abregon. He's got one man to beat, and he cannot beat him. Flag. Oh, the flag from your face mask. We both saw it up here. For the first time, I matched Donut Salinas with the call. <laughs> Eagle eyes. <laughs> Eagles, Super Bowl, we're going to have some fun in the playoffs. I know it's coming, brother. Uh, Coach Garza, I believe, told me that uh, he's shooting for Kingsville, Alice, and the furthest he wants to go is Corpus Christi. I you see. play the same team. They picked the, the halfway point last year, so that put him at the Cougars at San Antonio. So it's going to be Cougar time. If you play the, if you play the same team. Don't it. I'm going to tell you how well the Cougars were taken care of in San Antonio because they played. They used the facilities of a high school called South San Antonio High School. And the athletic director is my best friend in the world, best man at my wedding, uh, Coach Robert uh, Robert Zamora. I called him. I said, you need to take care of my boys. He said, Paul, you got it, man. And he treated them like royalty. Coach Garza told me they had never been treated so well. It was uh, lucky for me that I was able to ac help accommodate the Cougars as they played and use the facilities of South San High School. And they were taken, they were well taken care of. I assure you of that. So, don't. you know, when you got friends like that, if you're Paul Alvarez, get, get my skills. <laughs> That's right. Father, longtime superintendent of South San Antonio Schools, and my buddy, uh, athletic director, took very good care of the Cougars. Hey, Pablo, one more time for the Popcat. Move those no chains. And you know what? We're going to. Drop drop, they're going to yeah. drop them, James. Yeah, they're going to drop them, yeah. Oh. First and goal from the eight-yard line, 5-19 left. Uh, 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 that's a rig. That's an 18 winner, by the way. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. As Bobcats are driving. All right. Bobcat football finally coming alive with six minutes, five minutes left in the ball game. Yeah. They can finish the 2013 season with the pick. Alvarez and Ramon Garcia in the backfield. This time it's to Alvarez up the middle. He got, he maybe got a few. There's a lot of people, a lot of, looks like an old scrum. Yeah, they got to the three. That looks like an old, the five. that's rugby right there, don't it? See? Yes, sir. Rugby football in Edinburgh, eh? I played How rugby about Edinburgh getting the Vipers? The Vipers will be coming to Edinburgh? What? Yeah. Por qué? They, they, I don't know. They're going to make an arena here. Oh, they're, what? They're going to make a big arena. Yes, sir. They're right. They're supposed to make some big, uh, at least a couple, two jams yeah, or something like that. Yeah. On the... Owasa and the freeway. Oh, orange juice, Owasa and Jackson, there's nothing there. I'm not going to say anything about that. Yeah, the Ripen will be coming to Edinburgh. Really? Yes, That's going to be outstanding. Yeah. Harrison in the shotgun. Ah. Call the timeout. Three seconds play left. Play clock. Good job, Harrison. Realizing there was three seconds left on the play clock. They were not going to get the playoff. Uh, timeout. Let's think about it. And now we can talk about more stuff. What do you want to talk about, Paulo? Once again, Julio, what do you want to talk hey, about? Hey, pull that paper about? out, don't it? Pull it out. Pull it, come on. All right, Questions, preguntas. Preguntas. Come on, we're, we're pulling out, don't it? Uh, who's is this? That's yours, don't it? That's me. That's me. That's you? Yes, that's you. Pull it out. All right, Pablo. Come on, pull out some on. awesome question, don't it? Give me a toughest question you got. What's that? The toughest one you got, don't the it? The toughest one I got. For Pablo, we got some questions. See, si, Pablo, but we have no light. I got no glasses. Oh, that's all. Where you go? Where's it? There's a timeout on the field, and Paul and I are going to take a, a look. in. Time out to, uh, to, to get Pablo some questions that uh, people uh, the people want to know. People want to know everywhere you go. People want to know hey, when it's a timeout. Hey, I thought hey, that, look I, at this. I thought that no, it, don't it, you, I thought it was only the Bobcats. Don't it, you're killing me. Don't it, me duele mi corazón. 
All right. What Donut was looking for, ladies and gentlemen, is we had some, some time fillers. We had some questions. Usually it had more to do with the NFL. As you watch the Cowboys, you kind of wonder why did they do this, why did they do that, what did that mean. But Donut apparently wants to lose the questions as Harrison the shotgun, second and five. Motion across the formation. Ball is up. He get right to cut the upper gone. He's got one man to beat. Just keep going. And finish it. Bobcats! Get your lottery tickets here! Julio Camacho making the call that the Bobcats would come out on top with a uh, five-point victory. And Julio! Julio! It might happen! Give me some lottery numbers, Julio! I'm gonna write it down! <laughs> Bobcats score right at the gut. Give credit to Alvarez holding on the ball with two hands and pulled his way in. And I'll tell you what, he did run over a few guys. Not a big kid, but I'll tell you what, he was big on that play. And the Bobcats are feeling it. They need to kick an extra point. They don't have enough guys. They're missing a few guys. Two, four, six, eight, Five ten. Again. They're missing one guy. And it uh, looks like somebody's going to get, somebody's going to get uh, talked to. Boy, we don't get upset with a timeout. Those are Bobcat fans for you, man. They you know why? Because they're up by four. He said, take your time. I'm going to be up by five because that's what I said. Yeah, that's right. He doesn't want to be wrong. Got time out. So I want to be up by five. With six minutes left, he made the call and said that the Bobcats would come out with a victory by five points. He called and it. He called don't it. My, don't let those are some questions, man. Maybe on the side, the side pocket. Don't uh, Pablo, I'm trying, Pablo. The There's a replay if you're looking at Cast TV. Albert going does a high step. It reminds me of a bunch of NFL running backs. Does a high step. Walter Payton and uh, tippy toed in the end zone. It was a great run. Good job by Cast TV to show the replay if you're going to watch it later tonight. Uh, as they show the hey, 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 Donut. I'm sorry, brother. What did I do? All right, here we go. Donut throwing pins at me in the booth. to the point after Pablo because right now, what Julio said with 6.30 left might be true, man. Yeah, so far, he's looking good. Get your lottery tickets. Everybody call Julio. Get the numbers. Well, we'll see what's going to happen. Here comes the point after. Uh, they're going to go for two. Oh, no. No, they're not. Don't get your lottery ticket numbers. All right, here we go. They're going to go for two. Uh, no. Coach Gossett is trying to change Coach the Coach wants to make it a two, uh, one possession game. A touchdown. He's flustered. It's going to be an interception. No, he's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to matter. Because if he didn't score, it's going to be the, it's going to be kicking off anyway. So I know what he meant. You know what he didn't say five. He meant cuatro. Oh, well maybe he's like the ref. Yes, he did like the ref. He meant yeah. yes. No, minus one. He no. five minus one. He he doing his math tonight. Bias crash. Don't buy the lot of Yes. Negative one plus five equals four, don't it? Okay. That's algebra. So with 426 left in the 2013 Bobcat season. The Bobcats take the lead now. It is Edinburgh Bobcats, 13, and the, the, the Gonzalez, Tomas, the Hernandez, Huskies, Coseco, uh, Huskies. Nine. Yes, and I don't even know. You know, they did that play for the fun of it, don't it? Because it doesn't matter. You're up by four. Why not be up by six? It doesn't even matter. Uh, well, it does because if you're up by six, something could go wrong in the extra point. You can tie it up. Remember, they missed Yeah, the so time. give credit to Coach Casares for realizing that Going up by, uh, being up by six is a lot better than up by four. Of course, you know what? That's a much bigger number. I don't know. Last time I checked, I wouldn't have a bigger number than that. We're red and blue, man. Oh, I see it, man. Cat TV doing a great job. Sideline view. Look at the beautiful red, white, and blue. Reminds you of the United States of America. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Kick it off. Kick it deep. You got Christoph Martinez. He can put his foot into it. Kick it off. Kick nope. it deep. Kick it out of here. Put it in the park and recreation building over there. The park's in rec. The, he hit into the... Boom, it's a high squib kick. Let's see if it's gonna be, it's not fair caught. Oh. A man feels it cleanly. Oh. oh, and they, that's not the right coverage for that kick, don't it? They did not prepare for it. I don't know if anybody told the gunner on the outside, hey, we're gonna kick it short, because he, he ran expecting the ball to be deep, don't it? And unfortunately, the Huskies get great field position at the, what, don't it? What are you gonna call it, 45? That's good field position right there. Yeah, but yeah very unfortunate. 44. Some people were not on the same page, don't it? Chapter 2, no, Chapter 3, what? No, I see, that's what happens when you're not on the same page, don't it? All right, first and 10 for the 43-yard line for the Huskies. Four minutes left Bobcats. in the 2013 Bobcat season. Bobcats in a cover 2 means they're expecting the pass. That means they're soft on the run and strong on the pass at this time. Let's see what Juan Lincoln does. 
as uh, Edward Garcia has been shotgun, does a run up the middle. It's the right time for the run because it's, it's a, by virtue of the coverage, the Bobcats are soft from the run. Picked up seven. Picked up seven. And it's second and three. Second and who? Second and three. Ball makes it ball. It'll be it is. Second and third coming up. We're under four minutes left. And they're going no huddle for under four minutes, as Donut said. You got Edward Garcia in the shotgun. Twins left, twins right. Bobcats going to blitz from the edge. And it's a good time to run up the middle again. Bobcats are soft on the run. So and for the Huskies, move, move those the chains. chains. Okay, apparently the Bobcats are expecting the pass. Uh, but uh, the Huskies uh, have realized that they're soft on the run. They had two runs in a row. And two first, that's a first down, don't it? They're driving. Bobcats stay in a cover two, don't it? That means they are soft on the run and strong on the pass. Now will they come up and blitz? Uh, we're going to find out here in a minute. As Huskies to go hurry up, Bobcats are not coming on the blitz. They're just content to let them have a few. They're gonna, they're coming, here they come! And it's outside, no! Oh. Little bit antsy by the Bobcats. I don't think contact? they made contact. He could have got well, back, he, don't he? Yeah, but he made contact. Uh, he must have made contact, don't it know. Look at these fans. Yeah, the fans are mad up here. We got some Saldana fans, Jordan Saldana fans in front of us. We got nothing but number five all in front of us uh, down here in the front of the booth. Oh! We made the call, unbelievably. Ball start against the Huskies. Great break for the Bobcats. It'll be first and 15 now. We're under 325 left first, in the ball game. Yes, first and construction on North 281. Here we go. You're killing me, Pablo. <laughs> Again, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're enjoying the entertainment because Paul's giving you the best from, 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 from okay. DP. DP. How about PD, come on. Police department. Okay, let's say do a little bubble screen to the left. Uh, they throw the uh, basically the inside receiver on the twins. He does a bubble oh, screen, yeah, means yeah, he runs yeah. to the outside. It was well thrown, but the Bobcats defense was ready for that one as the uh, outside linebacker got there without being blocked, and it's a loss. Second and 16 coming up. Oh, second and red gate. Right at midfield. Second and red gate, don't it? Right at where it's torn. Right, that's in the middle. Midfield, they call it midfield. Why? Because it's in the middle. You think? Hey, so? right on the, the, the glue gun. The ball stuck on the glue. All right, here we go. And it's going to be another pass. He's got time. Oh, there's a blitz coming up the middle. He's got him in the middle. And complete. Woo! And a cover two, the, one of the voids is That's right in the middle. Hit him. Yeah, right in the middle. That is the void of a cover two. And in fact, he was open, but the Husky the quarterback, Edward Garcia, had to get rid of it a little bit sooner than he had to. So the Bobcats hit him right in the chest as he threw the ball. Very legal hit. Give credit to the Bobcat defense for getting the pressure at the right time. So let's say at third and 16, do you go for it twice? You have to, don't it? You have to? You have to, don't Julio, you have to go for it twice? You calling it? They'll go for it on fourth down? They have to. And may maybe they get a little now and maybe a lot of the next one, but uh, this is definitely two-down territory, don't it? You understand. As they fight for their life. They're a Bobcats in a cover two, a prevent defense. I mean, they're going to give them the short pass. And Bobcats the coming on the blitz. They do show a short pass. It's a pins of tackle. He breaks free. And it's a first down, Huskies. And the Bobcats were very loose, and any pass underneath was going to work. All they needed was one block and they got it. They needed 15 and they got 20 something for the Huskies. Move those chains, chains unfortunately. Huskies, so it's gonna be uh, first and 10 ball at the 22 yard line of the Bobcats. What they did, don't know what they flipped their linebacker so they left the middle wide open. If you don't get the, the quarterback, it's gonna, that crossing route can be wide open. So give credit to the Huskies coaching staff for seeing that. Split left, uh, twins left, split right. And it's gonna be a run. He hands it off to his running back. He's got some room. He's on the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Huskies. Yeah, there's still time on the clock, don't it? Huskies take it in. They're up 15-12. Do you do it? You're up, by, you're up by two. Do you go for the two-point conversion to go up by four? No, or do you get no, that support no. if you're up by three? Go up by three, and you better hope that you don't get close enough for that kicker that the Bobcats have. I go. You go for two? Don't it. I would go for two because the Bobcats have an outstanding kicker. Yeah, but they'll beat you with a three. Okay, you know what? They're going to overtime. They're going to overtime. And there's a kick. Oh, oh blocked oh. by the Bobcats. They came in. What right right a way to do the snap count. Hey, Paulo, you know, he had Ooh. a tough year. He had a tough year. He lost earlier in the season two games that, that he could have won with a 38 yarder and so on. And he kicked it to some. What a way to end the season. Is a box. Hey, wait, the premonition could be in effect. <laughs> no, 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 it's going to be a, a, 
It's gonna be oh, no, it's gonna be a one. Oh. It's gonna be a 37 yarder. Rick does the math over there. It's gonna be a 37 yarder to win the game for the Bobcats with a final of 16 to 15. Leo Reyes, be a coordinator. There we go. Looks like the Bobcats have plenty of time, but they have a lot of confidence in their kicker. What they'd like to do is just get into range. As Christoph Martinez has made plenty of 50 plus yarders this year, I'm sure he feels pretty good about kicking another 50 yarder. He's Ooh. getting ready, dude. Ooh. He's getting ready. He's coach, get me to the 50, coach. I'll put a 60 yarder to put a little record on another game. That's all right. If you're the kicker and you've had some tough games, and it's your final game as a Bobcat, I already know. I know the answer to all these questions. Go ahead, Donut. And you kick a 30, 40, 50 yarder to win it. If you're that kicker, you say, okay, Get my get is. What a way to, I mean, that'd be awesome, ladies that, and gentlemen. It won't get any better than that. We're Bobcats. We're Bobcats. So fans. you're calling it. A field goal to win, don't it? Yeah. A one-point victory. One-point victory. Down for Julio. He said five, then four, maybe one. <laughs> Pick a number. Flip a call. <laughs> yeah. All right, Bobcats are in kickoff return formation. This time they put Saldana back there. Do you give him a chance for a run back, or you just try to pin him here in the 30 or the 20, probably? Looks like the Bobcats are expecting, I don't know why they're like that, but I'll tell you what, uh, the Bobcats, the kickoff, the kickoffs have been really bad for what is Lincoln, as they haven't gotten anything deep. Uh, kicks it on the line, right? Yeah, there. they're expecting, so the Bobcats are expecting a low-line drive. Uh, and uh, they do it. Well, one of us back. Okay, where are they going to be? Come on, special teams coach. They should be up further. They should be up closer, don't it? I'd have them on the 15. Period. And there's the kick. And it's down to the 10 and 6. Cleanly, field cleanly. He got a block. He goes up the middle. Oh, and he loses his footing as Obregon wanted to go take it to the house. But uh, why does defense good, good credit to them for good coverage? As it was a decent kick, probably the best kick of the night. Right right to the six. Be first and 10 for the Bobcats at their own 21. They got 79 yards to go, or maybe 40. That's 79. 79. Class 79. 79? Well, because they got 79 yards. All right, so they're just going to take a class of 79. To go Every to yard they gave the Bobcats, class of whatever. 211 left. Bobcats have trips from the right, split to the left. He's got Alvarez in the backfield. Harrison and Alvarez in the backfield. It's going to be a, a quick bubble screen. He's got a block. Can he get outside? He does make a move. He gains eight. Yeah. Great job. That's a Harrison Abrego Abrego connection. Look at the screen. Look at the spot. We're waiting on the spot. It's going to be eight yards. It'll be second <laughs> and two. Got Coming the camera out. crew losing their mind over here. All right, here we go. We're down to 150 and counting left in the game. Bobcats need to get at least 35 more yards. Alvarez and Harrison in the shotgun. He's got plenty of time. He got plenty of time to keep it. He goes at the middle. He's got plenty of yards. He's got the first down and more. Harrison down to the 41. And the the it's a 43. Move, move those chains. Stop the clock just for a second. <laughs> You're kidding yes. me, man. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're having fun, but we're going to. The air conditioning decided hopefully, to work. Hopefully, we're going to bring you a victory here. It is Bobcats first and 10. Ball at the 41 yard line. Okay, Bobcats driving. That was a Harrison scramble up the middle for a good uh, 15 yards. He throws to the right. He's got a man open in the flats. Oh, they're out. Get some more stick em on those hands, baby. It was almost a career, uh, connection from Harrison to Theralt on a five yard out. Had a little bit, a little bit of heat on that as Theralt had to jump really hard, uh, don't it? And um, it was just incomplete, bottom line. Second and 10 coming up with the Bobcats. 123 left in the two uh, 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 season. All right, Harrison Alvarez in the back, in the backfield. They have twins left, twins right. And it looks like Juan Lincoln's thinking of blitzing. And in fact, they are not. They back off. He's got plenty of time, don't it? Goes into the flats. This time Theralt makes the grab. Get out of bounds. He's trying to do it. Cannot. Job. That's a gain of five. Uh, Theralt makes it the same play. The time he catches it. 110, 19, 18 and counting. Ball, he went out. They Bobcats, no timeout. No timeout. So it's going to be second and five. Third. Third, third and four. No the rest. Third and four. Gave him a great spot. Harrison. Gives the signal, something on his hip. There's the pass is up. He's got plenty of time. He got a man over in the flats, but he didn't see it. A little miscommunication as Obregon and Harrison were on different pages. Uh, Harrison was expecting a five yard out, and Obregon was winning about a 10 yard out. And the ball's under throw into his fourth and four, ladies and gentlemen. We have 
a very important play. 46 seconds left. Go ahead. Bring us through. Pablo, let me tell you what, Pablo. This is the kind of season the Bobcats are having, man. Typical heart attack. Yeah. One play, one play could make a big difference on a victory or a loss, and it's been like that all season long. And here are the Bobcats one more time facing a big play. It is fourth and four. Ball at the 47-yard line. We're down to 46 seconds. Well, as Lincoln is blitzing out the edge. He gets it off. He's got a man wide open. And he not only does he make the grab, he gets out of bounds. It's the first down, so for the Bobcats. Move those chains. The Harrison to the route. Uh, Five-yard out, makes the grab, turns it upfield, and gets out of bounds. Give credit for not only the catch, the first down, but clock stops the clock, don't it? Ball inside the 45-yard line on the Husky side. Right now looking at a 62-yard field. That's too far, don't it? Too far. We need another 10 yards. Yeah, man. 10, maybe 8. And then spike it. Stop the Here clock. we go. Yes, twins left, twins right. Harrison the shotgun. He's got plenty of time. Get him out over to the flats. He Here makes the catch. Hurry, hurry. That is Obregon. Gets the catch. Makes an 8-yard grab. They're already at field position, don't it? No, no, no. It's too far. No, we, we can keep going. Keep driving. Yes, the the ball in the field. Snap the ball. Oh, my God. Oh. And what is Lincoln to come? Oh, my God. Oh, crazy. Oh, my God. Crazy. Don't oh, go God. crazy. Oh, I'm throwing my pin. Oh, my God. What happened? We're all going crazy, Lincoln. What happened was Lincoln had some confusion on the field and had about 12 guys. Yeah. Bobcats had the opportunity to snap it. Just snap it. I, I don't know if they can see what we can see. Bottom line is we were hoping they snap it, get a five-yard free play. They... <laughs> And I'll tell you who saw it was Harley Lincoln because they called a timeout. They called a timeout. Kaz, wake up, Kaz! <laughs> Kaz! Be a, be a coordinator! We're looking at the shirt, Kaz. Class 84, class 84, class 84. All right, here we go. Hey, now, guys. Yes, sir. Paulo, here's the situation. He's yes. He's 21 seconds. Yes. As a coach, oh, we're on the play. It's a 55 yard from here, don't it? You, you can run, you can run two plays, two plays. Yeah. You just run a play, throw a pass to the sideline. If not, not right now, maybe the next one. If it doesn't work, it's a incomplete. If it works, you can get out of bounds. Up tight. Because they're going to stop. They're going to try to uh, hit him on the line, don't it? You see the corner on the outside. I'm hoping go for the victory. I want to The post. Here it is. He's got plenty of time. He's going to keep it up the middle. And he's going to tackle for maybe a gain of one. There's a flag on the play. I think it's going to go against Juarez. That's going to be an early Christmas for the Bobcats if it goes against Juarez. All right. First of all, I think it was enough for the first. Down. Juarez Gonzalez, uh, Hernandez Lincoln. There we go. Personal foul. Oh, the Bobcats got the biggest break of the game. 15 yards closer to a Christoph Martinez field goal with 14 seconds left. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do you run a play? No, sir. You go for the field goal. Right now. Christoph Martinez marches on the field. The who's left in the stands. They're on their feet. Here the we Bobcats go. are on their feet. Way to end the season, man. Here we go. Bobcats can come out with a victory here. It'll be a 38-yarder. Officially, from Dolores, it's a 38-yarder. 37. Call a timeout. Ice him. And how come they don't ice him? Instead, they waste their last timeout. They're not going to ice anything. So the kicker, don't it? Cannot have to worry about timeouts because Wallace Lincoln called it without even icing him. Okay, Lynn Jones, Wallace Lincoln is out of timeouts. And you know, if you watch any NFL game or most college games, go a hero. We're going to find out. And you know, Omar? Okay. Uh, Omar, he was fighting over there on his feet. Omar ran out of the booth and was on his feet. He was doing the bleacher stomp. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, what a way to, hey, Paul, I'm serious, man. It'd be the best thing that could happen for the Bobcats after the year they had this year. And, and Coach Casadez, you know, I talked to you and your staff for hanging in there, man, because it's been tough. Uh, we ran into each other, uh, not only on the field, at school and other places. And all I can say is, hey, man, uh, you got a tough job. And you know what? It gets tougher when you lose games like that because you turn one or two plays of those five losses they had. Donald, you're on your feet. Yeah, I'm on my I'm going to get on my feet. On your, everybody on your feet. Here That's 84. That's 84. That's 84. That's 84. Get to the call, Paul. Okay. okay. Christoph goes to his routine. Talks to his holder. Holder says he's ready. Snap is up. It's a good step. It's a good hole. Yeah. It's a good kick. It's all you know. It is. Field. No field. No way. Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, 
It seemed like if the ball, the ball would, went right through the middle, and here comes, uh, coaches can't believe, fans can't believe it, we can't believe it. If you ask me, it looked, Paul, honestly, not through the box. Look, here's how it, it looks looks at home, don't it? If it goes right over the pole, it's good at home. It looks like it went right over the bar. We're all in shock, ladies and gentlemen. Even though we don't have the best view, it looked good from here. Unfortunately, Bobcats wow. are going to go away with a that's heartbreaker. That's the kind of season they're having, Paul. And, you know, man, that's, oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a great game. And, and again, hey, Paul, credit to the Huskies, man. They, but hey, let me tell you what, how can you, that's a tough call to make. And, and if you can make that call against a team at home, like you say, Pablo, it's just like uh, uh, last pitch of the game. Did it get the corner? You know, and it's my, and, and I'm up, you know, bases loaded, two outs. You say ball four? No, you know, you do, you, you, you make the right call, don't it? And you have to assume that the referee, uh, you know, had the best view standing under the pole. And in fact, he waved his arms and he felt good, don't it? And it's a heartbreaker tonight. So ladies and gentlemen, Bobcats fall on the last game of the 2013 season by the score of 15 to 13. And ladies and gentlemen, it was a good And a little shout out going out to all the coaches and the people that joined us in the booth. And it's going to be tough, uh, tough summer and tough us uh, fall coming up for the Bobcats. So for tonight, we, from valleycentral.com, from Cats TV, good night, City, baby. From Pablo Osbury, from myself, Donna Salinas, and all the Cats TV crew, good night, everybody. I